since 2013, the marathon has just become such a symbol of strength, um, such a symbol of the fight against evil. It was a little bit rainy, and these runners were at mile 25, plowing to the finish line, and I was super, super excited, and I just told myself one day I wanted to run a marathon. And ever since I watched my first Boston Marathon in 2014, I've told myself I was going to do this. I grew up as a little girl watching the Boston Marathon every single Monday with my family. I was always inspired by the athleticism and the speed of all the runners. I just remember running through um, like the Wellesley Scream Tunnel at like 13 miles going, oh my god, there's like 3,000 people just all yelling at me um, to keep running and to keep going. In the 100th running, they opened it up to 40,000 or something, some astronomical number. And we overtook this entire town of Hopkinton where the starting line is. Um, and it was just unbelievable. I'll be running this Boston Marathon um, with Beth Israel's Tread Strong team. I'll be specifically fundraising for their annual fund. And so that fund goes towards improving all forms of patient care, um, whether that be through funding research or increasing educational opportunities for doctors and nurses, in addition to better surgical equipment. I also run for an amazing organization, 50legs.org. Um, they provide free prosthetics to amputees. I knew that in order to get through 26.2 miles, I had to run for a cause and a group of people much greater than myself. I ran for a charity team uh, supporting individuals with intellectual and mental disabilities. I was lucky enough to be able to get a spot on the Boston Fire Department charity team. I'm very excited to say that I did qualify and I'm very excited to do this on Monday and I hope my dad's looking down because I kind of miss him and he, this is for him. Um, personally I'll be running it in honor of my grandparents. I'll be running it in honor of them and in honor of all the patients that deserve the best care possible. My boyfriend who just fulfilled his lifelong goal of joining the Boston Fire Department lost his dad in the line of duty. This year, I'll be running in memory of him. After the 2013 Boston Marathon bombing, I suddenly appreciated so much more about these runners. I was inspired by their resilience and strength. Um, you know, crossing this finish line really as a sign of hope for the rest of the city, proving that no one's gonna mess with the city of Boston. You know, 2013, this country, this state, this city, you know, we got kicked down. And I just feel like the marathon every year is just a reminder that we got back up. My mom, who passed away in a car accident, walked the Boston Marathon with my aunt. And something that we always have had in common is that we are morning people. So every morning I get up and I run. And truly it was the passion I had for this cause that allowed me to cross the finish line in 2015. I ended up seeing my parents, they were at mile 25, um, and then just hearing them cheer for me and saying like how proud they were of me really just pushed me to the finish. Um, and it was just a really amazing experience to be surrounded by that many people at um, arguably the coolest marathon in the world.